Hi guys, it's Michelle here again. I just wanted to show you the bits and pieces that I had in my uh, vintage collection. So this was from the um, coffee mug stand that I altered and painted up and just distressed up a bit with my nail file. And it's a really cute way to, to hang your tags, um, put little mini, mini albums on, so I can get quite a lot on that and I'm going to be adding to it and also adding to my collection of um, coffee mug stands because I've started hunting these out at all the local secondhand shops. Got this for two dollars I think so keep an eye out for them because they're a really good cheap way to display your bits and pieces that you make. And then these are some of the things that I made for to go on it. I made everything in the same sort of colour range because I wanted it all to fit into this vintage, vintage theme that I had going and they are all made with craft and black and a bit of cream really as the, the colour scheme. This is the little book that I had on my uh, wall piece and it's uh, got little 2x2 two two pages and so all I've done at this stage is just pop little inches on all the pages so that it gives a little bit of decoration and I'm going to kind of keep adding to that with little bits and pieces as I go through. But these cute little inches I got off Etsy, so I really like them. And then these are cutouts from the vintage, from not from the vintage, from the Graphic 45 collection, and little stickers that all came on the sticker set. So that's my little book. And I made a few other bits and pieces. This is a lot of the projects was based on recycling and using what I had. So I recycled some um, ugly packaging, it's a really heavy, heavy card, and painted these ones black, they were just not very pretty, and then used broken jewellery to make some some hangers, and then to use the stickers from the Graphic 45 uh, sticker sheet, I backed it onto craft and then onto black card to give it a bit of dimension, and then these are the chipboard flowers that I really like, and they give a lot of dimension when you when you scrunch them up and they hold that dimension really well so I was really pleased with that so there's just some little really easy ones that I've made I haven't um, they're all plain on the back pretty much I haven't added all the photos to this I'm just working my way through the old family photos to choose the right ones that I want to put on it and then I'll once I've got the photos finalized I'll put little charms and things on that so they're all hung with the chains from um, my broken jewelry which I have got a bit of broken junk jewellery and it makes a great great embellishment and a really simple one. These ones I just made out of Graphic 45 packaging so this one I bought the trim so I had one pack of trim and that's what went through all this collection and then this is a vintage lace of my grandmother's and some little wooden buttons so I just added those on for the little tags. This one I've made with some clocks and you can see the clock in the background that came with the chipboard flowers so there was 30 pieces in that pack and I have um, just dimensioned them up a bit and I think this will be a really neat place to put some photos of my grandfather and my great grandfather and this one I couldn't resist using the beautiful lady out of the steampunk debutante and then all the little bits of paper here they are also from various graphic 45 collections so all the paper with the exception of the black and the craft is from graphic 45 so I decided to cut it all up and use it all up. This one here again was packaging and I can't even see what the packaging, oh it was a black policy envelopes came in with that and so I used it and inserted just some pages in there to uh, fit and to make that the tab of the book and then I've already got the grommet there and it's a much nicer grommet than um, I've got so it was good to use all those and then again bits and bobs from my broken jewellery and then this gorgeous little charm I've got of a coat hanger. So the, there's quite a strong sewing theme that runs through the collection and that's inspired by my grandmother who was an amazing dressmaker. So for her I put the um, coat hanger on and the scissors charm, little singer sewing machine here and I oh, hope you can see that and little silk thread, it's gorgeous. And then again just use more of these chipboard uh, flowers and also some flowers that I cut out on the Tim Holtz tattered florals die and laid them up with some buttons and things. 
So I'm just going to use this to tuck photos in of my um, family again. And so I've got a picture here of my grandmother. And then I've got some spaces here ready to go for some more photos. And then there's another one of my grandmother. So I'm just going to keep adding vintage photos as I get find them really. It's just hunting, hunting down everyone's different collections and getting them all together. So the uh, inside's really plain so far. All I've done is put a few copies of some photos in. And there's my grandmother and my great-grandmother off to the races. And again there's my grandmother. So, and then this little one on the back is my mother when she was a little baby. And again I just put some vintage buttons on there and some lace and some, some ribbons. So I'm just going to add to that and do a bit of journaling around it. And I can just keep going with that as I find more and more photos. Yay! And I also thought it was a really cute place to store and display toilet roll minis. So I'll just clear out the way a bit here. So this is, uh, as you can see, toilet roll mini. Just painted them all black inside and out and then used again craft card and black card. And I decided to challenge myself with this and only use what I had and not to use any designer paper. So I don't know why I decided to do that challenge, but I did. And it was fun. It, it pushes you to, to be more creative and really think about how you can use your bits and pieces. So I laid all the stickers up and uh, put this lovely sticker here onto some black card and then the inside of all the tags is just plain black card that I'm going to put more vintage photos in so I can keep adding to that and these gorgeous chipboard flowers which I really like. So then this is just another page again I just used the, used the stickers up laid them up onto some black card and pop them down there so really I really like it. I quite like the limited colour palette. It just makes a nice change. But I have since doing all this vintage collection, just making a, a green album and a yellow album now. So I've gone, I've gone from one extreme to colour. But they, they came out really nicely. And the graphic 45 flowers, as I think I said, really hold the dimension well. Oops, and my little keys got a bit bung. So they've all got just the same black fold outs and then just laid out the buttons and the clocks and some more flowers and then the butterflies and the stickers were um, put onto black card here so I gave it a bit more body and gave it a bit of dimension and they've held they've been bashed around a bit these books but they've held all their uh, shape really well so that is really cool and then lots of space for photos there little photos though and then that's the last page and just a couple of little bits of lace and vintage graphic 45 but, um, ribbon there. So it, this was all done with the little bits of leftover paper on here. And then on this one just the, the stickers, chipboard buttons and chipboard flowers. So I really like it. It's um, really nice on mass. My whole collection is just going to sit together. And oh, I got a message on my email. <laughs> Hi Rose! Um, so uh, that's my little vintage collection. I'll show you the rest of it. I'm going to just do some videoing and get that over and done with and get that sorted out and get hopefully all caught up on my videos. So I hope you're all having a wonderful crafty day. It is a beautiful stunning day in Wellington here today and I should be out in the garden but I'm not. I'm talking to you guys instead. So have fun, happy crafting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye now!